guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm so excited about today's video because today is my first haul and we are doing a Shein haul. So let's go on and I'm gonna show you what I got from Shein. <laughs> this stuff arrived today because I ordered it at the end of April and it wasn't supposed to come until the end of May so it came about two weeks early so it took about two weeks to come so I was really excited about that so I'm I'm today I just thought I'm gonna film it today because I was so excited and I want to try these clothes on so first thing I'm going to show you isn't clothes but I thought I guess it's the only thing that isn't clothing related so I thought I'll just get it out of the way not get it out of the way but I love it so I bought picked up this hairbrush so this was like three pounds and I, I love the rainbows on it, it's so super cute. And I love using a paddle brush. I literally, I've got this hair on this already because I used this earlier because I wanted to try it out. And yeah, it's a really good hair brush. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, but I think that's okay because it's a good handy size. Like it's, it's not too big. So like if I take it away when I finally ever get to go away, I think it's a good size to have because I have thick hair so I like mini hairbrushes that don't always work the best with me so having this size hairbrush is great so yeah I love that it's really cute and then going into the clothes that I got the first item that I got are, are these gym leggings so these are just gym leggings oh so by the way I got everything in a size medium or a size large so these I actually picked up in a large because what I love about Shein is that a lot of the clothes you can see what people have ordered it in and like some people post photos of them wearing it so I was kind of going by like the photos and like people's sizings to see kind of work it out along my sizings so I'm generally a UK size 10 to 12 so it really depends on like shop to shop. Sometimes like, I can fit into 10, sometimes with jeans and things like that. It's normally like a 12 on bottoms. So I picked this up in a large just because as well, I'm about five foot eight, five foot, yeah, about five eight. So I'm not super tall, but I'm not short either. I like to have length in it, especially because I have long legs. So I picked these up in a large thinking, I'm not sure if, if they would be that fab because I knew it would be okay for length, but I was a bit like, will they be too big on the waist? But I actually was a bit cheeky and I tried these on earlier because I wanted to wait to try everything on. So I haven't tried it on yet. I'm gonna do do like the trying clips to for the first time when I try it on and show you guys. But these, I just could not resist trying them on. I was like, if I try on one thing, then that'll make me happy and I can wait a few hours until I try the rest on. So yeah, I tried these on and they fitted really good. So I love these, they're really good quality. I did notice that when I tried them on a few, there was a few little bits of strings um, on them, like around by the seamings, but I chopped those off. But yeah, they're good. I thought they'd be really big because they look quite wide, but they're not. They fitted quite nicely. They're really comfy, the material feels good. So yeah, love them. So the next item that I got are these cycling shorts. So these are like daisy print, they're blue cycling shorts. Again, I picked these up in the large and looking at them, I'm a bit like, are they gonna fit? Cause I do think they're quite, they're quite a thin cotton material and the waistband is quite wide. So I don't know if these are fit, but again, like the leggings, they might surprise me when I put them on. So I can't wait to try those. They're super cute. Um, they are, actually they're not too see-through they're a little bit see-through but they're not not enough that it would bother you like they're not really I think you just have to be careful what underwear you wear underneath it but yeah love those the next item I picked up was a bodysuit so I saw a few of these they had this in white and I think a like a baby pink color but I went for the lilac because I thought lilac's super in at the moment and I haven't really got anything in my wardrobe that's lilac and I just love the tortoiseshell button. So I'm just quickly jumping in and saying how obsessed I am with this. I love it, it fits so nicely and I want all the other colours in this bodysuit, it's the best. Design on this, but yeah I bought, I got this in a medium, yeah I got this in the medium um, and I I'm hoping it fit. It looks like a really good size, to be honest, but because I'm tall, I find with bodysuits that I find them quite hard to fit or I have to size up because, just because I have quite a long body or what, torso or whatever. So I'm hoping that fits. It looks like it will. So I cannot wait to try on that. The next thing I picked up was a top. This is just a little like 
wait, not halter neck, but what's it called? Um, I can't remember what this is called, but yeah, it's super cute yeah. and is a medium because I didn't want to get this too small because I want it to fit nicely but not be too tight. With a little butterfly on it, I think I just think it's super cute for jeans or even just lounging around the houses in like joggers. Literally today, I'm wearing joggers and like just like a casual top with a thought which looks cute with makeup, but yeah, love the jogger life, but yeah, that's super cute. So the next thing I picked up again was this daisy print but these are the full length leggings and this is actually black. I wish they had done the cycling shorts in black because I would have preferred those but they didn't have it. So I got these leggings in a medium. These again are a little bit see through, I can see it through a little bit but I'm hoping when they're, once they're on they won't be too bad. So yeah, they're super cute just to wear around the house or wear out anywhere to the shops. Out, out. <laughs> And then I picked up this top. This again is quite thin and see-through, but I think I only paid like $3.99 for this. So this is a leopard print top, but it's a halter neck one. So it's like low at the back, and then you like, it's like a halter neck. So, whoo, you know, like that. Um, I think that's the best way to show. I think I got this in the medium. I just thought that would be super cute, like even now to wear around the house, but I thought it would be a really cute top to pick up for the summer, If even if eventually if we are allowed out, or even, like I feel like anything like this, you could either dress it up or dress it down. It's just so simple and you, it just goes, well it doesn't go over everything because it's leopard print, but it, it's, you know what I mean, it's easy to style, it's got, you don't need to have a lot else going on, but this is quite a good staple. So then I got a couple of fitness things. So I picked up a pair of black cycling shorts, but these are like fitness like leggings and the with like the white stripe down the bottom. A bit yeah, they're just basic simple shorts, but oh, they're basic cycling shorts, but like working out shorts. Um I got these in a medium again. Yeah, medium. And like I thought I haven't had many shorts for working out in because I just, yeah, I, just, I have a lot more leggings than I do shorts, and I thought it'd be really good to pick some up. I really want to order some of Opoly, because they have some really lush sets on there, but they're, first of all, they're not the cheapest, and they always go out of stock anyway, and I'm just not quite sure how key I am on spending £50 on one set. So these were, like, super cheap. These were, like, no more than £5, which is what I love. So they, ho hopefully they'll fit, because... I've been wearing a pair of leggings that I cut into shorts, which, which are fine, but I need like an, one more pair of shorts just for the hotter days when I'm working out outside. And then the last workout thing I got was this sports bra. Um, I thought this was just so cute. It's like a racer back style and it's pink and orange. And then it also does up at the back. So it's like got a bra clasp and then racer back and it's got what I love about this as well, it's got like the boob pads in it to support because I have small boobs so I don't really have a lot of issue but I still find you need some support, oh, I still find you need some support with a sports bar, especially like, yeah, I just I just think you need some support when you're jumping, jumping up and down. So I'm hoping this fits. When I first looked at this, I thought like it looks, it looks quite small, like it doesn't look very wide and it, it is a medium. But I'm hoping once it's on, like once it scratches out, I'm hoping it'll fit. I'm just sat here like this. <laughs> oh my god. And then the final thing that I picked up was a pyjama set because I just couldn't resist these pyjamas. So like I've got, I've got loads of pyjamas but I don't have a nice, nice set of pyjamas. So I thought especially as we're in lockdown, this would be the perfect thing to have. So I picked up this two piece. So it's like a silky set with hearts on it. So I picked this up in the medium. So this is the top, oh, this is the top, and it. I think it looks like it's going to be a good size, a good fit. It doesn't look too small, and I think it's going to, because I want it to be comfy, but not, like, I don't want it to be tight. Um, and then it comes with the shorts as well. Yeah, yeah, so it comes with the shorts as well, and I think these will fit as well, hopefully. They don't look too small. Um, so yeah, I love that. I just thought that would be really nice, especially just for the evenings. Like if you want to have a pamper evening and you want to make yourself feel a bit nicer, it's just nice to have some nicer pyjamas than just regular ones. So 
yeah so yeah that is everything that i got from Shein. like i didn't get too much because i did actually have in my wish list a lot more at first i had about 120 pounds worth of stuff so like nearly double the stuff than what i got but i had to cut it down because i just couldn't afford it like I love I love buying clothes, but it just it just adds up. Even though Shein is such good value and it's quite cheap, it definitely adds up. So yeah, I spent altogether about 60, 65 pounds, and I got free shipping. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, that I got it took about two weeks to come. I thought that was pretty good, and yeah, I got about I got 11, 11 items for 60, 65 pounds, but including the hairbrush and then one other thing, which is a present. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to do more hauls in the future. I hope I will do another one soon, but I'm not too sure because I have to see. I may do like maybe a pretty little thing haul or I've heard of that Everything £5 website and I would love to do to like look on there because apparently it's like all brands from like other shops that are like, not leftovers, well yeah, left leftovers. So the stuff that didn't, the stuff from the season, uh, the stuff from the season that didn't sell. So I've been watching a couple of videos of hauls on everything five pound and some people have got some really good stuff and it looks really nice. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my first haul. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe and comment down below which item that I got was your favorite and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye. <laughs>